Hello again, good afternoon time for business. Carl Bank says it is implementing strategies that will help turn around its dwindling fortunes this year. This is despite a dip in profits for the first quarter of the year after another significant fall in earnings for last year. Carl Bank's profits before tax dropped from 221 million CDs to 17 million CDs in 2016. According to the bank, fast-tracking collections of these debts and embarking on some cost-cutting measures will quickly improve their situation this year. Philip Uridu is the executive director of the bank. The experiences that we had in 2016, we've actually uh, uh, built some sort of uh, learning blocks from that in terms of ensuring that the sort of uh, uh, provisions that we took in, la in last year, which impacted very significantly on us, we would ensure that we wouldn't have the same problems going forward. I also did in in indicate that in terms of diversifying the sources of revenue, even within sectors, in terms of the companies that we, we deal with, we are diverse, diversifying that uh, in terms of the clientele portfolio, in terms of the uh, people that we deal with in, 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 in the various businesses to ensure that we increase our revenue generation. I, 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 I think the, the settlement process started last year, where a, a certain uh, part of that debt was isolated by government, asked ENY to verify those figures. They came to a certain conclusion as to what they've been able to verify and can be paid and government actually started the process of payment. Uh, obviously, that payment was in two parts, what came from the central bank and what came from the Ministry of Finance. Uh, central bank settled its uh, part in full. Uh, Ministry of Finance is yet to uh, settle its part in full. Away from that, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Maomia has expressed the government's commitment to keep its expenditure within approved budgets. According to the Vice President, this is necessary because of the impact of budget overruns on the economy, inflation and cost of credit. The Vice President was with some management members of Standard Bank South Africa and Stambik Bank Ghana, who pay a courtesy call on him at the Flagstaff House. Government over the years has had serious challenges in sticking to approved annual budgets by Parliament. But the vice president said this is about to change. We get details of this story and other business stories shortly on the marketplace. My name is Imano Apuaji Yafi.